Make some noise for your next guy. This guy is tall, he's handsome, and he's a vegan, and it's Ted Jones World. It really is. Make some noise for my good friend Ted Jones World. Faces here, I'm loving to see it. Do I look tan too? It's like the white people have to like reciprocate, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's insane how we've just gotten so obsessed as white people. There's so many tan people in here. Loving, <laughs> loving to see you guys. You guys are all getting a lot of sun. But isn't it insane how like 75 years ago it was a sign of like weakness if you were tan? Now it's a sign of opulence, right? Like, I, remember, I remember the last time I went to Miami. I know we got some snowbirds in here. Anybody here from Florida? Half the room or what? Guys, don't be shy. Florida people, let's go. Nobody, okay. Hamptons on a Wednesday. I guess you guys are locals out here. I love it. Um, I remember the last time I went to Miami. Before I went down there, I checked the weather out because anytime us white people go down to Miami, we're there for three days. We need to get tan, right? I noticed that it was going to be cloudy three days in a row. And I was visiting my buddy Sergio down there, and anytime I talk to Sergio, anything that he says. He just sounds super convincing. Like, does anybody have a friend that when they talk in their accent, they just sound like everything that they say just makes 100% sense? I'm seeing you miss through these two, yes? Where is your friend from, if you don't mind me asking? No? He's no good, no pro, no. She's the friend? No, it's no problem, thank you, go. No, but so like my friend, my friend Sergio, he like, I know it's, <laughs> I know it's 2024 and you shouldn't be, you know, not politically correct, but like my buddy Sergio, he moved from Venezuela to Miami and he still sounds, <laughs> he still sounds like he's in Venezuela. So he for the most part is fresh off the boat, but for politically correctness, he's fresh off the plane, okay? From Venezuela to Miami. I call him on the phone, I'm like, Sergio, this weather, it's gonna be cloudy the entire time I'm down there. Like, do I need to reschedule my trip? He's on the other end of the line, he's like, hey! It's no problem, porque the sun <laughs> is coming to the clouds. You're going to get more tan than if there was no clouds. I'm on the other end of my tune. What are you talking about? <laughs> I Google while I'm on the phone. The kid's right. Have you guys heard this? Yeah? You guys can give me some nods. You guys have heard this? The squad over here that's going left field. You guys, don't be shy, man. I'll be picking on you all night, girl. You know? <laughs> He's cool, he's, good. he's just convincing, man. And like, he doesn't mind when I do an accent of him, of course not, but like, I feel like other Venezuelans or other Dominicans, maybe Mexican people, they wouldn't feel the same way, right? Like, we got some New York City people in here. I know we got New York City people. Give me some woos, don't be shy. Right there, I love your shirt, girl, floral. Nice, very pretty, nice. And you, you over there, tan bro, who kind of looks like me. Arms crossed. We got those uncrossed, anyway. But New York City, you know, it's a melting pot. So everybody, for the most part, is not from New York City, right? Like you run into somebody who's from maybe London, Britain, maybe they've moved around and they now live in New York full time, but they don't quite know where things are. So they'll come up to you on the street, hey, you know which way Broca Fender Center is? <laughs> and then like immediately you can give them their accent right back. And it seems like they don't mind. I'm like, oh, it's four blocks up that way. <laughs> <laughs> you mimic their bad teeth. <laughs> Maybe still can, then I smash it. No way. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bell, that was a banger. Thank you. <laughs> they don't mind. They don't mind, man. Like, you go up and, like, either, you know, somebody may be visiting, or maybe Mexican, Dominican, whatever. Some sort of Spanish guy comes up to you, hey, always. You don't know where the daily is? And you're like, oh, it's four blocks that way, bro. It's going to be quick to get there. <laughs> looks at you, he's just like, on the other line, he's like, gonna call 20 of his cousins, you're gonna be dead within 10 minutes. <laughs> that one works better in New York when there are Spanish people in the crowd. <laughs> it's good though, man, it's good, dude. I love New York, I do love New York. There, there's a lot of things about New York that you just wouldn't experience in the suburbs. Like, we do have people from New York City, right? I know I heard some light woos, so I imagine, you know, it's out of um, But, I have, uh, you know, I have experience with mice in my apartment, which is freaking terrifying, okay? For me, mice, 
way scarier than the rats, I tell you that. Yeah. Okay? It's like a rat, you can see a rat in New York. It's on top of the trash, you blink, maybe it's like three inches that way. You see a mouse in your apartment, you blink, it's outside the door, 25 feet away. I don't know how it moves so quick. It's just gotta get away quick, you know, because we got the cats and they're chasing it. But like, I remember the first time I had an experience with a mouse in my apartment. Uh, my mom was upstairs from, my mom's here by the way, I made some noise for my mom. What's up? know this, I think you were talking about this. But my mom was upstairs in the apartment and she would yell down at me downstairs. And like, what's her name, dude? Andres. Andres? So like, anytime you were in trouble at home, your mom would start your name at an octave low and then she'd like go high, right? Like, are you a little Spanish too? Do you just run it? Do you just see a mouse, miss? What was that? <laughs> oh, there was one of these dragonflies. What is this? You guys seeing this? What is this? It's like a, what is it, a firefly? It's very Hamptons. <laughs> what is that? It's like a wasp. We got wasps in here? What? Woo! <laughs> so are you Spanish, Andres? You are. I'm sorry for the bit before, bro. It wasn't me. <laughs> Hopefully we're still boys. Anyway. But your mom, theoretically, when she was, what's, what's, um, what's your mom's nationality? Colombia. Colombia, oh my God, this is gonna be fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so your mom would be like in the corner of the house, maybe like a thousand feet away, I imagine, you know, you grew up in a house. And your mom would be like, Andres, right? Start low, go high. You'd be like, oh my God, did I leave the search history on in the family desktop in the computer? What did I do? She's like, KS BBW under 30. <laughs> I don't know, mom, it wasn't me. I Means big, beautiful women under 30. <laughs> Not porn, I thought. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so my mom, she would like shout downstairs. She would just go, Teddy! Anytime that happened, I knew I was in trouble. Okay? So this one particular time, my mom goes, Teddy! I'm like, oh my god, I'm walking up the steps. I'm like, what did I do? Sorry, what did I do? She points to under the stove and she goes, I'm gonna need you to take this mouse and bring it outside. And by the way, I'm sorry, I know Pete introduced me as a vegan. I'm sorry it's taking me five minutes for me to tell you guys that I'm vegan. It's usually the first 20 seconds, we let you guys know, but I had to tell you. Like back then, I wasn't a vegan, but I still, I was not gonna take this mouse outside. And obviously, I wasn't gonna eat it either, but that's just <laughs> side note. I was like, mom, I'm not taking this mouse outside. She goes, all right, what if I gave you 10 bucks? I'm like, mom, I'm about to start being a counselor at East Hampton Sports Camp, okay? I don't need your 10 bucks, right? She goes, what if I gave you 20 bucks? I was like, all right, give me one second. So I go around the corner, I go in the other room, I call my girlfriend at the time. I'm like, what's up, Caroline? You wanna make 10 bucks? She was like, yeah, sure. I was like, all right, come over. Caroline comes over. She takes the mouse, brings it outside, and we both made 10 bucks. I'm an entrepreneur, mother, what can I say? True story, true story. Yeah, that was a, that was a funny one, man. That was a funny one. Um, a lot of things have actually changed in my, in my life. I don't know, you, you, we got a pot smoking crowd in here? No, you guys did it. Okay, over, to, over there, just the young people in the corner, you potheads! No, it's okay, it's fine. I haven't smoked pot in six months, so I can, you guys can make some noise for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just, it's like, it's very difficult not to in New York City, because you can buy pot at any deli now, you know? Like sometimes even your own mother's selling weed, you know? Like, <laughs> You don't know these things. I go home, I, see my, I haven't seen my mom in two weeks. She's like, yo, you want a dime bag? I'm like, mom! She's like, I gotta pay the bills. <laughs> just kidding, I'm picking on her because she's here. I'm picking on her. But you go to a deli, like I said, you can just buy weed and it's, it's super cheap. And there's one particular place that I always go to buy sandwiches. It's like a good friend of mine now, because I go and I've gone, I had gone in there so many times, gone in there probably 50 to 75 times to buy pop. So when I told him I stopped smoking weed, he was very upset. So my good friend Ahmed, he's like, Dad, you're no longer smoking pot. I was like, yeah, dude, I'm not smoking weed. It just makes me cloudy or whatever. He's like, you're my best customer. Come on. So now, every time I go in there, <laughs> I feel bad. Because like, I want to I wanna give him business still, but like I don't want to buy the $20 worth of pot. 
each time, you know? So I had to figure out something else to buy. So I just saw that like the most expensive thing in a New York City deli is cashews. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but like, cashews are <laughs> at least $9.99 a bag in New York. It's like the Dom Perignon of nuts. It's, in, it's <laughs> insane. Every time I go in there, I just buy a bag of cashews. I'm like, whatever. He's like, Dad, you sure you don't want to smell this fire goosh? <laughs> I don't smell it. Does not smell fire. I'll tell you that. Does not smell good. <laughs> so now I just have thousands of cashews at my apartment. I, I haven't eaten. <laughs> it's insane. If anyone wants to go nuts at my apartment after this, <laughs> yes, we can. We may. But now I think I'm addicted to cashews. It's insane how that like goes like line and line. And I know I'm addicted to cashews because like anyone in here have like a weird addiction they can't talk about? Yeah, no one ever raises their hands when I do that. Um, but. <laughs> Uh, like, I'll take a cashew, I'll crack it, and the inside of a cashew is like the smoothest marble surface ever. I wouldn't expect you guys to know this, but I'll crack it and I'll just rub it on the top of my lip, and then eat it. It's like weird, it's sexual. I'll be a hundred cashews in, I'll look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, Ted, knock it off! <laughs> <laughs> then I'll go back to the couch two minutes later, cash you 101. It's just right in my mouth, man. It's insane. <laughs> wow. Very weird. Very weird. 32 and a half years old. We got people around here, around my age. Anyone? Woo! <laughs> you, I love you give the one finger. Does that mean you're one year younger, one year older, or you just didn't want to raise your hand proudly? That one. The, the ladder. The third ladder. That's what you call it. Uh, but I heard you two, you two are married over there? Yeah. Nice. How long have you guys been married? Two years. Two years? All right. How'd you propose? Oh, man. <laughs> Is it on TikTok or what? No, no, on TikTok. He wasn't no. there for it. You weren't there for it! <laughs> no, it was... The older generation back here is not liking this. <laughs> back in my day, we used to get down on one goddamn knee. <laughs> They're just from the South now, I don't know. What do you mean? You did, what do you mean? Yeah, it wasn't traditional. Uh, we put it on our dog's neck. You put it on your dog's neck? Yeah, yeah. She woke me up in the morning with it, but then I saw it and I woke up because it wasn't. <laughs> That's very cute. Make some noise for this couple. Woo! Put a message on your dog's neck. Just go in there. <laughs> wow. And like any, like any information now, I know he was talking about like, do you guys watch the news? But like, younger kids, guys, we get a lot of news from TikTok, right? Is that true? No. Come on, somebody give me some. Andres? TikTok, you're an Instagram guy? Alright, anyway, well I get all my <laughs> And like TikTok is so great at bringing you in to the story, they call it the hook. So like right away you have to be hooked by whatever you're watching, otherwise you're going to scroll. You know, so I remember this one video, and I only remember one video a month now, which is alarming, obviously, because I watch 500, I watch like a thousand TikToks a day, I'm watching 30,000 a month, you remember one a month? Maybe you for your goddamn help! You see the way I'm sounding, right? <laughs> Break into uncontrollable accents, dude. This is TikTok, man. It's TikTok. Um, but I remember this one video. You guys have seen my strange addiction on TLC. Yeah, it's getting a little bit some partial nods. That show is insane because they'll like they are before TikTok. They were just trying to bring you in to watch their insane show with people who have insane addictions. Right? And it's usually the addictions that you can't really talk about. You remember this one TikTok that I'm talking about? It just starts off as an Australian woman talking about a guy from the South. So like, completely different parts of the world. It starts off as, Steve has been addicted to eating soapless for 10 years. <laughs> Immediately cuts to Steve. I've been having one soap for every three days. <laughs> For the past 10 years! What? <laughs> Watching this, and then since, I don't know if people don't use TikTok in here, they usually have like a part two right in the comments. So as soon as I watch this, I scroll down, I'm like, oh my god, there's a juicy part two, all right. <laughs> Click on the part two. It's just a t an entire three minute video of Steve going to town and eating a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> 
there's lint on the side of the face. I'm like, oh my god, dude. <laughs> then like a minute and a half goes by, I cannot look away. I'm like, I think that couch is vegan? I don't know, it looks leather. I don't know about that. And then eventually I'm like, you know what? I feel like Steve needs to put some ketchup on that cell phone. <laughs> that would be delicious. All right, guys, I'm Ted Jones. Make some noise for <laughs>